Hi everybody, uh, Angus Campbell here. Now the evening of uh, Saturday the 23rd uh, so um, of, of November. So hot on the heels of just publishing the last video. Um, thought this evening I'd have a crack at polishing with proper mops and uh, abrasive stroke soap. So I, some years ago I, I bought a kit and here it is. So we've got some instructions. Uh, we've got a mask, although it looks as though the band has perished on that because it's some years since, uh, since I got this, but we might try and fix that. We've got four buffing mops. Um, two very coarse, one medium and one soft, and then we've got a separate bag, we've got two blocks of buffing compound. And we've also got a spindle for the drill. So I've set the drill, uh, drill up in the vise, it's clamped in pretty tight. And I believe then we'll, we'll obviously start with a, a coarse mop. I believe then we just screw it on. But I think the drill needs to run backwards. No, no, perhaps not. I'm wrong. The other way. Yep. See the stuff going everywhere here. Now I just need to read up about the uh, about the compound. And I'm not uh, I'm not sure whether you, you use any uh, lubricant with these or not. Right, so we've got the the sizal mops, of which there are two, are to be used with the dark compound on all metals. Uh, the white mops are for bright finish with the white compound. Okay. Apply compound sparingly to mop, and then you apply the work surface to the mop, which is why the mop is static, which is correct. So, we've got the dark compound. God, it seems uh, the compound blocks are very hard. I'm just wondering if these have uh, deteriorated with age. But anyway, we'll give it a go. Glasses on, gloves on. And we can but see what happens. And just do a bit of a test. So a bit of a noise alert, and let's see. Uh, whether well, first of all we can load up the mop with some compound. Now the biggest problem we're going to have with this Hmm. 
biggest problem with this is I haven't got a lock on the drive so I'm gonna have to hold it hmm never thought about that Gonna need to improvise, so let's just load the soap up first anyway. Just try one one corner. I don't know whether you can see that or not. Yeah, you probably can just there. Let me just get that. There we go. You can see the line difference. The line's just... Right about there. Yeah, just uh, along there. And you, you can actually see it there, can't you? So this is going to work, but I do think that um, these um, these compound blocks have maybe uh, aged a bit. So I'm not quite sure what to do. Let's uh, let's plow on anyway. Just need to deem with my glasses. Okay, that's better. Now, what we'll also do is, if we're going to be running the drill for quite a length of time, then we'll get the other battery on charging while we're at it. In the background. Okay, that's that off. Right, let's see if we can load up this mop with a bit more. certainly taking it anyway. So let's think of a quick way. A quick way of locking that drill bit on. Uh, drill, um, yeah, in the on position, the drill in the on position. 
I don't think I've got any sort of vice grips or something like that that will just clamp on there. It's too deep. I might just use, have to use tape. So, let's grab the tape box. Well, I suppose actually we could use a, a tie wrap. <coughs> Yeah, we can use a tie wrap. And then get, get ready to, to cut it. There we go. Okay, well, it's definitely coming up well. Um, before this evening I'd uh, done a lot of work on this by hand and it, uh, it didn't bring up anywhere near as good as this. Um, the, there are lots of aberrations on this though. Um, as you can see it's... Oh, I don't know whether you can see that on there actually. Yeah you can now. All these marks on this, uh, on this case are actually uh, dents and grooves. So what's happened to this in its previous life, I don't know. Um, and um, I'm, I'm not going to replace it with a, a new case. We'll use this one. Um, we'll see how much better we can buff it on. I'm very tempted to have a go with a bit of Solval. I think these, um, these bars, <coughs> abrasive bars, have aged. Uh, they, they do make a, a, a difference. But I think they've aged a bit. I'm going to put um, a little bit of solvent on these mops. On this mop, um, we've got to be a bit careful not to put too much on, though, because of course um, there'll be spraying everywhere. So we'll start it, we can start the drill off slow just to get it soaked in. Seems to be working quite well. Let's load it with a little bit more. Give it a good, uh, a co good covering, and then uh, we'll put another tie wrap on the drill and go over it again. OK. 
Okay, let's get another tire up on. Bit of a waste of tire ups really, but I've got plenty. Shiny, shiny. Right, what I'm going to do now then is uh, just finish that off slightly by hand and then we'll do a before and after on, uh, on the primary drive case. So I'll bring you back in a second. Okay, um, I've just given it... Um, a quick go with the uh, the medium mop dry just to polish it up and it's made uh, a bit more difference I think that uh, you know give this another go and it might bring it up a bit, bit more but I can uh, begin to see my face in it actually so it's made a hell of a difference so I'm quite impressed with that bearing in mind I've never done that uh, before and this is quite a um, I don't know pretty uh, sh shall we say straightforward a uh, little, little set, but it's brought it up much better than I could ever have achieved by hand, which has always been, uh, if you like, my way in the past. This, <laughs> what it has done is it's shown up just how many aberrations there are in this case. Uh, this poor bike has been through hell and back, and it's uh, short on the road life. Uh, but anyway, no, I am going to use it. Um, what I'll do in the meantime, though, first, while you're on, is um, just show you something. So, here's the original cover on the alternator side, so it goes on here. And um, just to give you some idea of maybe the incompetence or desperation of the owner when it was on the road all those years ago, I think they possibly might have had a problem sealing this at some point, but I mean, that's just a bit of overkill, I think. Uh, but anyway, we'll have a, we'll have a go and see how, uh, how that cover um, polishes up. Um, the cover that was on the bike when I got it on the um, point side is this one. That's... That's been chromed, but but you can see, let me just see if you can get the light right. There we go. Look at the scratches on that. They're deep, and this is chromed as well. So I do have a replacement cover, which uh, isn't original. Uh, it's brand new. It's, made, it's obviously turned out of uh, solid look. So uh, we've got that there, which we'll have to use, but the original cover on this side we shall, we shall use. So... I'll leave the camera in the same position and the same lights on. Uh, that's the before, and then I'll bring you back with uh, the after. Okay, there, there you go. After. Um, that's about 20 minutes work. And uh, I found that the, uh, the bar is definitely better and more abrasive than uh, Solval, and it doesn't make so much mess, although it is quite uh, messy, this process, anyway. Also, what I managed to, uh, to do as well was adapt my technique, so uh, instead of uh, breaking the tie wraps when I want to stop the drill, then I can just slide it away from its battery contacts, and that seems to work quite well. It doesn't seem to 
be doing any harm to it at the moment anyway. We'll see, no doubt, longer term. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. It's coming up quite well. Um, it doesn't look quite as good in the flesh as it does in the camera. Uh, but nevertheless, um, dramatic improvement. Now then, this poor cover. So that is what I took off the back side of it. Um, that must be goo about sixteenth of an inch thick. Um, anyway, it's apparent why. Um, so you can see there, there's a problem. There's also chemical metal or something like that they've put on the inside here, but I don't know why. Um, although there does appear to have been a hole drilled there and blocked off, which is probably correct because um, on the case there's a lug missing. Um, so we've only got three mounting points for it. So again, um, doesn't bear thinking about what this went through, um, but I'm I'm um, pretty confident we can uh, we can still use this. It's it's an original. It's got it's still got its original casting marks and stuff. So I'm going to use it, and uh, I've got some chemical metal that we can use and do a better job of just tidying that side of it uh, up a bit before we uh, we refit it. Um, and we've got um, gas proper gaskets and uh, silicon. That we can use sparingly to uh, to seal that pretty well. I'm pretty confident of that without using half a ton of it like before. So uh, there we are. A bit of uh, uh, a pleasant diversion from uh, recent mechanicing and fitting, etc. Um, but anyway, yeah, pleased with that. And these are obviously going to come up. Uh, Good enough for me, anyway. Um, for this, uh, for this restoration, um, it's going to need a couple more goes that uh, that case. But anyway, you can see the difference. Okay, um, quick video just for tonight. Time's marching on. Uh, thanks very much for watching, everybody. Thanks for interest, uh, comments, and uh, any subscriptions. We'll leave it there for a short one and uh, I'll be back tomorrow when we'll uh, run an episode on the Fury SS at last and get back to that. Thanks very much everybody, good night.